Welcome to Discover Janesville. My name is Yuri Rashkin, and today's program is underwritten by Alliant Energy. We are here today at Best Events, and we have some wonderful food to share, <laughs> or at least to show. <laughs> My next guest is Britton Graft. Britton, thanks for being on the program. Thanks for having me. Um, your father's company, is a family company, is widely known in the area. We actually have more than one, too. So. <laughs> Several of them are. We have the real estate company, and right. we have uh, the parts company, which is less widely known. And we also have a little tiny business called Wisconsin Wagon that we are the proud that owners is, of. That is the newest edition? Yes, that is the newest edition. Um, that was just the first of this year. That's something we are very excited to grow. Wow. And yet, uh, you are just, uh, you graduated recently from college? Yes, just about a year ago, almost to the date, um, from Washington University down in St. Louis. And your education is as an architect? That is correct. I do have a Bachelor's of Architecture. Um, I do not have a Master's and I am, I'm not currently licensed. So you're looking to be more involved than in the company? It sounds like you already are. Yes, I'm, I'm very involved already. <laughs> so what do you do with the company at this point as a new college graduate? Well, How I... How do you fit into the puzzle? Oh, I, I fit in multiple different places. Um, they actually joke a lot that I wear multiple hats. and. I work in the accounts payable and receivables just to help out with that sort of thing. Um, I did have a small accounting background while I was at WashU. I also work heavily in the real estate section, um, especially with my uh, degree in architecture. I'm currently in the middle of about four projects right now. So I'm keeping very busy with that and I kind of just fill in wherever I'm needed and just get things done. Um, you were originally from Janesville? Yes, born and raised here. And you went to school somewhere else, and now you're back. Yes. What do you think of Janesville now that you're back and you had the opportunity to live in another place, and, and here you are? Um, living in St. Louis obviously gives you a little more opportunity um, to do a wide variety of things. There's a little more to do, and obviously that just comes to the territory of being a bigger city. And I still travel widely to a lot of the bigger cities around Janesville, but that's the great thing about Janesville. It's in the center of a lot of great larger cities very easy to get to. I do love just kind of the quietness of Janesville sometimes and it's it's a great family city. Um, I was very lucky to be raised in a place like this. Um, you know having the family and friends being close here. Um, it's it's not a very exciting place for a young professional but I see a lot of things happening right now that I think will help that. Um, I'm particularly happy that they started a young professionals group um, sure. I attend And you'll those. be a member of that for years to come because you're only, what, 20? Yes, I'm one of the younger, I'm 23. 23. I'm one of the younger so. members of the young professionals. Um, but I am a professional, so I consider myself a... I think architect qualifies yeah. as a professional. Yes. yes. You're pretty good in that. And uh, it would be weird to have a conversation without mentioning the Monterey Hotel. Absolutely. Which had a, um, I was looking online yesterday to kind of read up on the history a little bit, mm -hmm. and it had a uh, checkered history, I guess is a, one way to put it. It had different ownerships and, and mm -hmm. all those kinds of things, but yet it is essentially a flagship of the downtown. It's the high point, I think you mentioned once. Yes. Um, is it exciting for somebody who is an architect interested in history um, to, to look at that and go, wow, what, what, can I, what can be done here? Absolutely, and I've had so much fun working with, um, I actually had an internship several summers ago with an uh, architecture firm up in Madison, and one of the projects we were working on was the Monterey. It just happened to work out that way. And it was great because I already knew so much history that they didn't have to pay an intern to do all the history. They got an intern with all the history. So um, it actually worked out well for everyone involved. And, um, I played around with a lot of different ideas and we had looked at doing condos, but right now the plans will be to have apartments. Um, we actually have the plans um, pretty well set of how we're going to divide up the space. We've already worked with the National Park Service um, with the historic tax credits. Um, we have, I think there's about four apartments per floor. I think some might have five. It's been a while since I've looked at them. And they're going to be great apartments, and I'm very excited. Um, I hope I can get one out of the deal. Um, in turn, with an interest in buying property, yes, it's yes. great. 
Um, it's going to be a great place for young professionals, um, people that don't have families yet to live downtown, even some with families. I think it's, I think that's where the future of making this a vibrant uh, city, especially downtown. And we actually like to refer to that section as Uptown. That's what <laughs> us There's and the Graff family, we, we like to call that area Uptown. Um, I think it's a very distinguished difference between the corner of Milwaukee and Maine and the corner of High and Milwaukee. Just a gradual difference. You know, there's quite a bit of blocks in between from the river all the way up there. And I think that area has a lot of potential. And as we have uh, said. And I guess that's, that's my question is what is your vision that you, how do you see uh, the downtown and uptown developing over the next 10, 20 years based on your knowledge as an architect and, and somebody who also lived in Janesville? What do you think are strength of that area and, and what, where do you think it's headed? Um, like I said, I think uh, we have a lot of second story apartment possibilities on Milwaukee Street and I think that's very beneficial to have those smaller ones. They don't have to be large developments like the Monterey. We have worked on several um, second story renovations already on Milwaukee Street and there is a need for them. Um, I've been approached by several individuals saying you know, I work downtown. I want to live downtown. This is where the action is going to be. If there's going to be action in Janesville, isn't that interesting? There's more. There's more interest in living downtown. Yes, and I don't know why there hasn't been uh, a public, you know, outcry to have more of it. You know, there's there. There is, but it's one person at a time. Yes, yes, and I wish there had been more at one time because there there are possibilities down there, and people just need to do. There have been several successful. Um, second story renovations that now have occupants and we're working on a few. Um, actually right now we're just moving a lot of our employees into them. Every time we finish one they're already spoken for. So I mean we're, we're filling them up I know as soon as we get them done. Um, what do you think of some of the strength of, uh, of Janesville? I think the strength is it's, I feel very safe here. Um, I would love to move downtown and I think there's a nice presence We're in the city hall, the police station right there. I, I don't ever feel unsafe walking in that area. That's true, because downtown you don't always associate with the, the safest area of town, mm -hmm. but in Janesville it really is. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of anyone having a problem, which is very lucky. I mean, for being a, an individual that I'm out by myself quite a bit, you know, walking to my car, and if you feel unsafe, that's it's not going to be a something you're going to want to do is you go out uh, in the evening. And um, I mean, I, I think bringing more businesses to town will help bring a lot of younger individuals. I think that's kind of where it's lacking right now is there's an aging population, and younger kids, and the young professional age is, I think, what we need to target, especially, like I said, that downtown area and uptown. And uptown. <laughs> yeah. um, You've been back for about a year and yes. you got involved in different things right away. I see you as part of different committees and groups and mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. Why, why the interest? Why not concentrate on other things? You're, you're 23. Why, yes. why, is that, why is that interesting to you right now? Um, one, one of the groups that I'm particularly involved with is Westgate. And we, I grew up on the west side. We have several businesses on the west side and we we're invested in the west side of Janesville and I think there's a strong need, especially that group, it's not a service group, it's a business, I mean a group to promote business on the west side. And groups like that I feel very strongly about. Businesses helping businesses is such a great idea and kind of banding together. I would imagine growing up in your family that just seems like common sense. Yes, yes, business has always been kind of second nature in our family. but. Um, I haven't been too involved with many other groups. That's one I feel very strongly about. I have been approached to join service groups and I just am lacking on time right now um, being so involved with the family business, but I don't think anyone's going to fault anyone for being too busy with other things. Well, I think it's great that uh, you are involved because mm -hmm. I think it's important to build bridges and, uh, or, you know, as, as another guest said, uh, it's networking, it's getting to know more people, it, it all works together. Absolutely.